Lord said to Mary Magdalene, Go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to the Father and your Father, to my God and your God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Well, good morning. Good morning, Father. What a wonderful, cool morning we have today. Yes. We gather here this morning to celebrate the Feast of St. Mary Magdalene. So we will have a Gloria today. We'll say the Gloria. My dear friends, as we gather to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us pause for a moment to call to mind our sins as we prepare to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You are sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of good will. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit and the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, whose only begotten Son entrusted Mary Magdalene before all others with announcing the great joy of the resurrection, grant, we pray, that through her intercession and example, we may proclaim the living Christ and come to see him reigning in your glory, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, the love of Christ impels us. Once we have come to the conviction that one died for all, therefore all have died. He indeed died for all, so that those who live might no longer live for themselves, but for him who for their sake died and was raised. Consequently, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even if we once knew Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him so no longer. So, so whoever is in Christ is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, new things have come. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. O God, you are my God whom I seek. For you my flesh pines and my soul thirsts, like the earth, parched, lifeless, and without water. My soul is thirsting for you, O Lord my God. Thus have I gazed toward you in the sanctuary, to see your power and your glory. For your kindness is a greater good than life. My lips shall glorify you. My soul is for you, Lord, 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 Thus will I bless you while I live. Lifting up my hands, I will call upon your name. As with the riches of a banquet shall my soul be satisfied. And with exultant lips, my mouth shall praise you. My soul is searching for you, Lord, 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 Lord. You are my help, 
and in the shadow of your rings I shout for joy. My soul clings fast to you. Your right hand upholds me. Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia. Tell us, Mary, what did you see on the way? I saw the glory of the risen Christ. I saw his empty tomb. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them. They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. Mary stayed outside the tomb weeping, and as she wept, she bent over into the tomb and saw two angels in white sitting there, one at the head and one at the feet, where the body of Jesus had been. And they said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? And she said to them, They have taken my Lord, and I don't know where they laid him. When she had said this, she turned around and saw Jesus there, but did not know it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom are you looking for? She thought it was the gardener and said to him, Sir, if you carried him away, tell me where you laid him, and I will take him. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabuni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, Stop holding on to me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father. But go to my brothers and tell them, I am going to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went out and announced to the disciples, I have seen the Lord and then reported what he told her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. There are not many saints that get a glory. Mary Magdalene, we know her more, we don't even have to call her Saint Mary Magdalene, but we don't know just refer to her as Mary Magdalene, and we know the importance of her participation in the life of Christ. We know how integral her, her, her love and devotion to the Lord was. Jesus reveals himself to her first, to a woman, in the time of Jesus, had no status, had no authority, had, had, had no most time weren't listened to. But Mary Magdalene goes to the apostles and says, I have seen the Lord. And they come to believe. And the one whom Jesus loved, John, runs to the tomb, runs to the tomb, but waits for Peter to come before they go in. But we see that Mary Magdalene plays a very important role in our story. Her faithfulness, her trust, her humility. And it's of these, of these part of her character that we honor today. We honor her for being one who truly, truly believed. And who knew that Jesus could come into the world for all, not just for her, you hear the gospel, don't cling to me. I have not yet risen to my father. But she announces that great 
the greatness of that moment announces the resurrection of the Lord. So today as we gather this morning, let us look to Mary Magdalene as an example of, of faithfulness, an example of courage to go forth and to announce the risen Christ. And let us be reminded of the great love that God has for each of us as we receive him in the Eucharist today, as we go forth this day, knowing of God's great and ever-abounding love for the world. And we now stand and offer our prayers of intercession this day. For the Pope, our bishops, and all priests and deacons, May the Holy Spirit continue to sanctify and purify them in Christ's name. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For government leaders at every level, may the Holy Spirit guide them in providing for the needs of their people. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For persecuted Christians throughout the world, may the Lord grant them safety and strength as they live their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those of us here who may be mourning or in despair, may the resurrection of Jesus give us consolation and hope. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they join the resurrected Jesus in the eternal kingdom of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And let us pause for a moment to lift up to the Lord those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, as we gather this morning, we ask you to hear the prayers we voice aloud in those in our hearts and grant them all through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. And there's other things as far as wine and fish. But the lips of Christ will humble himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. wash away my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be pleasing and acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace and glory of the for our good and the walls of the Church. Accept, O Lord, the offerings presented in commemoration of St. Mary Magdalene, whose homage of charity was graciously accepted by your only begotten Son who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. 
And so with angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Kevin, our Bishop, Timothy, and Tom, his brother bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, we may praise and glorify you, your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, and take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, and take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. How blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And prior to my reception of communion today, I'll pray a spiritual communion prayer for those watching on our live stream. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. body of Christ. Amen. The blood of Christ. Amen. Let us pray. <laughs> Mr. Why was that so much louder? It was right under my mask. <laughs> May the holy reception of your mysteries, Lord, instill in us the perse persevering love with which St. Mary Magdalene clung resoundly to Christ her Master who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection, and the spirit of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of Heaven, and Ghosts, by the power of God, cast into thou Satan and all of the evil spirits, who prowl about the world, with you and the souls. body of Christ. Appreciate those who have come to help.